Do you want to ensure that your team is consistently performing at their best? Tracking team performance can be a game changer, but it's only effective if you have the right tools. So in today's video, we're diving into how to track team performance effectively in our favorite project management tool, ClickUp. Whether you're managing a small team or a large agency, ClickUp offers powerful features to help you monitor progress, identify bottlenecks, and celebrate wins. If you're ready to take your team's performance to the next level, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icons for notifications. Let's get started. There are so many ways that you can track team performance using ClickUp, but today I'm going to cover the main four ways that you can do this. I'm going to go in order of complexity. So the first point is going to seem quite simple, but it's absolutely crucial for keeping your team on track. It is making sure that you have assignees and due dates on everything that you need your team to accomplish. So starting with, okay, whether you have team task lists that just have one-off tasks for your team to complete, whether they're putting things there for themselves or different team members are delegating different things to each other, you can create team task lists. You can also create a shortcut that anytime a task is created, it always assigns it to that specific person. So if I put something in here, you know, I need Christy to help me with this email response or whatever it is, then it's automatically going to sign that person. You want to put a due date on it instead of just being like, hey, can you take care of this thing? Setting them up for success means putting a due date on it, even if that due date is flexible. So that's just if you have one off list, but then also if you have an entire project. So if we go into our client management or project management, you want to make sure in an entire client project that you actually have a person assigned to the project or the tasks that they need to complete with due dates as well. So, okay, if I need my assistant to order the client gift, we want to make sure that this is set up with a due date. So it's showing on their dashboard or calendar. You want to make sure that they have due dates so they can see them on their calendars and also prioritize what they have to do in what order. So that's point number one. Yes, it seems very simple, but it's absolutely crucial. The next thing is, which really ties into having due dates and assignees on everything, is then being able to set up team member calendars and dashboards. So I love doing this on the everything view and every single team member is different. So I love giving them the option of having a calendar and a dashboard for their brain, what works best. I personally love my calendar. I know we have team members who love their dashboards. And so here is where you will be able to see the different things that are just assigned to that person, right? So here, let me take off Jeff. This should be Christy's calendar. And then you can create one for each individual team member. So you can create every something on the everything view that then has, oh, here we are, Christy's calendar. So you can have that the filter, the assignee is that person. You also want to make sure in the settings that it is showing subtasks. You can also show things like priorities and tags and things like that. But again, this is going to give not only your team member, but you as well, an insight into, are they hitting their goals? Why are all these things overdue? What's coming up for them, right? So getting that snapshot into what their workload is and if anything is lagging. That way you can show up in their calendar and be like, okay, this task, you know, it's almost a week overdue. You can check in with them and be like, hey, what's going on here, et cetera. And then being able to see, team member over team member, like who's lagging at a lot of tasks versus who's really on top of it. So the everything calendar is one way to do this. The other way to do this is with a team member dashboard. So you can make this as robust or as simple as you want. Here's a really simplified version where you can just have three task list widgets. So you can add these task list cards. In the cards, the filters, you're going to have one task list card that's what are their tasks due today, is anything overdue, and what's coming up this week. 
So going through the filters, you could see this is the assignee is Christy, due date is today. This is assignee is Christy, due date is overdue. And this is assignee is Christy, due date is this week. So that way you can come right into their dashboard and be like, okay, what are the things that are outstanding and overdue? Do they have a lot of things? Maybe I need to check in with this team member and see what's going on. Or if you come in here and there's nothing overdue, you're like, awesome, they're doing stellar. And sometimes it might not be the team member's fault for things that are overdue. It could be that they're really stacked and they have too much on their plate, right? And things are falling through the cracks. So that leads me to my third point, which is having a management dashboard. And I actually want to show you how to create this management dashboard super quickly. This is actually like a ClickUp generated template. So if you come into dashboards and then you click on new dashboard, you can then do a team reporting. Um, the location, you can select or all, or if there are only specific spaces that your team is working out of, you can select those. And now I'm going to go ahead and create this dashboard. So now I have a team reporting dashboard. I can see so many different things on this and you can absolutely make this your own. So this is where you can see how many tasks are outstanding, what's been completed this week. You can see tasks by assignees. So you can be like, okay, Clearly, one person on the team is way overloaded than the other people. Let's check out what they have on their list and see what's going on there. Um, you could see workspace points, what's being worked on, what's been completed, who's behind. I love this block seeing, you know, who has a lot of unread notifications or total overdue tasks. So you can do so many things with dashboards and make it visual and get that team pulse check on where's everyone at, what's outstanding, what is everyone's capacity looking like. So that is point number three, making some sort of management dashboard. And then the fourth point, which is a little bit more robust, I want to take a little bit more time to go into, is actually tracking KPIs and onboarding plans, like a 30, 60, 90 day plan for your team member. So for these, we actually have templates for them. And so I want to bring up, first we'll go through the 30, 60, 90 plan. So this is where when you are onboarding your team members, you want to make sure that you are absolutely setting up for success with what are their expectations. Now, this is a pretty simple list in here. We just have a task list for the team member. We have a drop down that's first 30, 60 or 90 days. And the statuses of each of these tasks are not started, in progress, behind, postponed, and completed. So we grouped this by the custom field 30, 60, 90. And now this is what we actually go through with our team members on their onboarding call. We also have our onboarding workflow that we go through that like introduces them to the team, what their expectations are. But then we'll go through just their first 30 days. So then we actually have three meetings within their first 30 days. We have, well, it'd actually be four. So it'd be their kickoff call and onboarding. Then after 30 days, we have their 30 day review where we're going through all of these and being like, did you hit them? Yes, no, why not? Were they postponed? Is that a team thing? Is that a you thing? And then we'll go through, okay, what are you gonna work on in the next 60 days? Then we have another one after the first 60 where we review the first 60 days and then we touch base on the next 30 and then we have that 90 day review going through, okay, did you hit your 90 day goals? How was your first three months working here? Is there anything that you need to work towards or do you have any feedback for us? All that good stuff. So this is a way that you can track your new team members performance, just making sure that they're set up for success on what their expectations are. And then so you know what you've set out for them and seeing if they're doing a good job. So that's in regards to the onboarding, then let's talk about, you know, after that first 90 days, how are you actually tracking their performance in terms of KPIs? So we're actually going to have a, an entire video coming out next on goal tracking. So company level where it goes through our goal setting process of how we set goals, track the targets, the tasks, KPIs, all that good stuff. But then we can go through now, I'll give you a little 
glance into that and then I'll show you how you can track each individual team member's KPIs. So here's the look into our goal tracker of having, we actually have custom task types here, which is really cool. And so you can see the different goals. Let me actually put this into quarter view so you could see this even better. You could see the different goals that break it down into the individual KPIs and then you can have the actual tasks associated. Now within this, you can actually assign specific owners and team members. So then you're basically having the company-wide goals and how each team member fits into those goals and how you're all working together to achieve that specific initiative. And then you can also have individual KPI trackers, right? So either you can be taking this and then adding it to their specific list, or you can just have their specific list, which look like this, right? And so this is going to be grouped by the specific department that their KPIs for the quarter are falling into. So here's one example of our team member helping with their main KPI, right? So we have four for them for a quarter that this is the KPI to provide admin support as we're beta testing a new offer. And here are the four main tasks for that specific KPI to track, are they reaching that KPI and bringing us towards our larger initiative, which is launching this new beta offer successfully. So in the overall goals, again, I'm going to have a video that dives deeper into this, but you could see like, what's the status of this? What's the department? What's the progress? Whereas on the individual levels, the team member can give themselves a rating of like, you know, this is an area of growth or strength. Then the manager can rate it. You can put any notes and see the progress towards that as well. We also have another type of KPI tracker. Just want to give you guys some visuals there where instead of it just being done or not done, if you want individual team members to be responsible for tracking things like you know, lead follow-ups or website views or things that are more company driven, not like task driven, then you can also have these type of things where you're having them track on a weekly basis. Okay, what's our goal? What was the actual? Then you could have formula fields to see, okay, then what was the outcome? Is this on track, at risk, et cetera? So that would be less in terms of like team performance and more so as like company initiatives and outcomes. But I wanted to show you that option as well. So I feel like I blasted through a bunch of different examples here, but I really just wanted to show you the power that ClickUp has, not only for task and project management, but also for reporting to really manage your team members well, to make sure that they're on track and be able to track their performance and be able to make data-driven decisions from those specific metrics. And that's a wrap. You've just learned how you can use the powerful project management tool ClickUp to track your team's performance effectively. So let me ask you this. Are you ready to transform your agency's operations? At DeSilva Life, we've empowered hundreds of agencies and teams to become seamless, efficient powerhouses. So if you're eager to implement a clear system and scale your agency to new heights, go ahead and visit DeSilvaLife.com slash contact and let's get in touch today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and feel free to send this to any other agency owner or team member that you think could benefit from this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.